Welcome to another video and today is the 12th of February 2023 and I'm driving to a place called Nantwich in Cheshire in the United Kingdom and I'm on my way to the radioactive amateur radio fair. It probably is the first fair of uh, the new year and I'm really looking forward to number one meeting a few friends and number two picking up a few bargains. So I'm going to show you around. I'm not going to do too much talking while I'm showing you around, just to give you an idea of the atmosphere and the ambiance. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video. And if you do, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. And also, maybe if you like videos like this, you'd also like to have a look at some of the other videos that I've done. Right, let's jump in. <laughs> Right, we've arrived in Nantwich and it took mm, maybe just under an hour and I'm guessing that we're in the right place just by the fact that there's a car park full of cars and vans with aerials on the roofs. So um, yeah, let's go and take a look and see what Nantwich Radioactive Rally has got to offer. Quarter of an hour to go until the doors open and as you can see there's a fair few people queuing outside which is always a good sign. Something else that I've just spotted, which um, I wasn't expecting to see. You may remember from my video that I did when I was out on the Hobnet camp out in Wales last year, that Simon was here with his um, military radio truck, and there it is. Hello, right, yeah. How are you doing, you right? I know you're all here to get all these lovely uh, radios. Morning, everybody. Hello, Nicky. Hiya, hiya, mate. How are you, mate? How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be here. Well, I, I, it's only around the corner with me, though. <laughs> Thank you. 
go and see. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
We're here with one of the organisers, this is Stuart, uh, M0WTX. Indeed. I've had a walk around Stuart and I've got to say I'm really, really impressed. Thank you. I think you guys have done an amazing job. So you do this every year I guess? We do, yeah. Uh, it's normally around about Valentine's Day. And, yeah, and if, if your wife needs to get your present, she needs to come here. <laughs> but uh, no, that's not the case. So, yeah, it's normally around about Valentine's weekend um, every year. And we basically uh, normal numbers between five and seven hundred through the door. Although recently, last year, I think it was about four fifty. So it was definitely down this year. Who knows? I'm hoping more. Um, 2019 was. 550 and 2018 was 650 so it's a good uh, amount of numbers through the door obviously our uh, main radio seller here is Canica Components and they're brilliant can't say enough about them uh, new box trainers are hard to come by these days at small rallies they only want to go to the big events but uh, yeah, we've got a small cherished uh, amount of Cheshire people here with plenty of money in the pockets that want to spend it so <laughs> traders love this rally <laughs> So, so the club, there's a club, isn't there? Um, yeah, Mid Cheshire Amateur Radio Society. Right, okay. Mid Cars. Okay. And what kind of coverage has that got in terms of membership base? Um, we, we've probably not got any members, probably only got about 30 members now. Uh, probably an active good 18 or 20 of us. Um, we've had a few uh, deaths recently, all the members, which is a shame. But we've got a full setup for 2 metre, 70 sound, uh, 6 metre, and HF. All can be run uh, in respect of each other. We've got a 60 foot first tower mass with all the beams on it for all those different antennas. Brilliant, you know. They're a proper radio club with radios, uh, which is quite unusual these days. Uh, we meet up every Wednesday uh, near Tarpley uh, in Cheshire and um, have coffee and biscuits uh, about 9 pm after we've had a talk or, uh, or done a competition, radio thing, or whatever it is related. Wednesday will definitely be a roundup of how the rally went. <laughs> Hopefully, a good one. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, and what's the connection with Hubnet then? Hubnet was my founder to radio, if you like. Uh, Steve, I'm sorry, it's your why, uh, the first person I spoke to on air, I think, when I got a gateway set up, and he said, You need to connect to us. Get your gateway on Hub Hubnet. Well, this is before Hubnet, actually. <laughs> I can't even remember what it was called, but uh, that, that went from strength to strength. And Steve, uh, Peter, G7RPG and a few others uh, have been here every year. But unfortunately, uh, Steve couldn't come here for whatever reason this year. Work commitments are needed for Peter. So I'm here supporting the Hubnet, not really. <laughs> uh, with no banners and no nothing. But uh, yeah, it was certainly a uh, flagship on the programme, Hubnet. So. Brilliant. Still in my heart, my heart. Well, it's been open, what, an hour and a half now? And it's still yeah. filling up, there's still people coming in. Yeah, and, uh, that's, that's how it continues. The uh, sandwiches are uh, really good. <laughs> the yeah, <laughs> definitely. Bacon butter butties and uh, sausage butties. So, so, in addition, obviously, to the traders selling new products and components, you've also got uh, Bring Them By, I believe? Yeah, that's products. around here, the Mid-Cheshire Amateur Radio Society. We're running our own Bring Them By here. Right. Uh, which uh, we take a small commission and it is literally a service it's what people want to do get rid of their radio at the rally but don't want the hassle uh, they stick it up there and somebody bids on it or whatever or pays the amount yeah. really? we've got the uh, RSGB box stand here um, we've got some of the repeater groups uh, and uh, I think one of the other uh, governing bodies for Amateur the radio there I can't remember what they're called um, and Various of the sellers, as you can see. Some of it's vintage, some of it's modern components. We've got plenty of components here, which always is a good thing for any radio fan. Get those PL259 and your own types, because <laughs> you never know when you're going to get a problem getting older. So. Yeah. And then I think you've got a raffle as well. We have. These are the raffle prizes. We've got a Yesu uh, M70 microphone. I don't know much about this mic, um, but it's apparently uh, the prize. Prize, uh, prize today, uh, a Yesu extension speaker, uh, an FT4 VHF UHF and an FT65 VHF UHF radio. Brilliant. Everybody that comes in pays £5 for a programme and with that programme has a number on it, so that's free entry into the raffle. So effectively you're paying £4 to get in and a pound for your raffle ticket. You can um, buy extra raffle tickets like you did, it gives you another four chances of winning. 
got right. four chances, four more times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and have these been bought or donated by someone? Um, our club has donated uh, £200, I don't know what the cost of this equipment is. Yeah. Canning components have made up the equipment for us. Oh, wow, that's really, great. really can. Yeah, absolutely. To, to take that hassle off me to supply them for the day, uh, and I just give them some money, so... Yeah. Uh, yes, at the end of the day, some of the money of income is going back into the people that come here. Perfect. It's important. Right, thanks, Stu. No worries. And I hope you have a, a great rest of your day. Well, there you go. Um, that was a really good day actually, well, half a day. I bought um, bought an aerial, I'm gonna do some things with this. And I also bought some uh, ferrites. So yeah, have a play with them. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, as I said earlier, maybe you'd like to take a look at the other videos that I've done over the last few years. There's a few hundred on there now, uh, ranging from live streams to portable activations. But anyway, really appreciate you watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye for now.